So you've watched my video on the battery rebates, maybe even the one on what to look out for when choosing a home battery. If you haven't, links below. But now is the time for the real question. Which brand should you go with? Because let's be honest, once you've wrapped your head around the kilowatt hours, coupling types and dodgy marketing, you're left with a big list of brands, all claiming to be the best. That is if you can even find the list. So in this video, I'm gonna take you through the top home battery systems currently available in Australia as of 2025 and help you figure out which one is right for you. So make sure to like this video if it helps you choose a home battery and subscribe to support the channel and get more videos similar to this one. Let's get rolling with the intro. Now then, a couple of caveats. First off, the pricing. It can wildly change. Each installer may price the install more or less for your situation. My notes here will be excluding any rebates and may not be the exact price you pay either. Furthermore, I will concentrate on the 10 kilowatt hour systems as I believe this will be the most popular option in Australia to offset the evening usage when the sun ain't shining. However, I still recommend going a little bit bigger, at least a 15 kilowatt hour system. But as I mentioned in other videos, you need to check your average power usage per day to work out the right size. So let's get started. First up, the name everyone knows but doesn't like, Tesla Powerwall 3. You're looking at around $15,000 or more installed before rebates, with about 13.5 usable kilowatt hours. That puts it at about 1,111 per usable kilowatt hour. It can push out over 11 kilowatts of power, which is huge, enough to run multiple big appliances at once and really the main draw card. The pros, it works with all solar panels, has its own built-in inverter, has proven reliability, seamless backup and outages, slick integration with the Tesla app, and a 10-year warranty. However, being an AC coupled unit, if you have three-phase power, you may need multiple power walls to make the most of it, and the installation process may also be slightly more complex. In some situations, additional equipment such as a phase-specific inverter or load balancing devices may be required to ensure optimal performance and safety. Overall, it's a top performer with high power, high efficiency, 97.5 that is, and sits the standard, but I would not put this at the top of my list if you have a three-phase home. Lastly, Tesla means Elon, and he is the season's villain, so I'll leave it at that. Next up is Alpha ESS, and here we're stepping into the more realistically priced options. The Alpha ESS Smile G3 10.1 kWh battery system, which includes a 5 kW hybrid inverter, is priced between $6,185 and $6,997. This translates to a cost per kilowatt ranging from approximately $612 to $692 before any rebates. It's a good middle ground option. It integrates well with most solar systems and their Australian support has gotten a lot better recently based on online feedback. The downside is the app. It's not particularly intuitive and you'll likely need a third party inverter for all the advanced features that people talk about. Still, for most households, Alpha is a great entry point. In regards to the cons, the integrated inverter has a five kilowatt output, which is fine for low to medium usage, but could be a bottleneck for high demand houses and you might trip the limit if you run let's say an oven ac and pull pump together for three phase home alpha offers different models the smile t10 is a 10 kilowatt three phase system that can take up to 23 kilowatt hour battery systems moving on sun grows sbr series is a modular lithium iron phosphate battery system that has been wildly popular in australia for its flexibility and safety. It scales from about 9.6 kilowatt hours at three modules up to 25.6 kilowatt hours in eight modules. With pricing before rebates ranging from around 8,000 for a 10 kilowatt hour system, this translates to a per kilowatt hour of roughly $800. But if you can go to a larger system, let's say the 25 kilowatt hours, your cost per kilowatt drops to around 688, making larger systems more cost effective per unit of energy. Moreover, the system supports 100% usable energy with a high continuous discharge rate. It includes a 10 year warranty and features multiple safety certifications, making it a reliable choice for both new and retrofit solar plus storage systems. The cons are that it requires a SunGrow inverter to operate and its continuous output depends on inverter size. Typically, SunGrow hybrid inverters are five kilowatts single phase or up to 10 kilowatt three phase, which is the max draw. Now, BYD, you're 
probably seeing their cars on the road, but they also make a serious home battery, the Battery Box Premium HVS. Before rebates, you're looking at around $941 per usable kilowatt hour. That puts it at a typical 10 kilowatt hour system in the ballpark of 9,400 installed. It's a modular system built for flexibility and is especially popular for pairing with Fronius inverters, which many Australian homes already use. While the app and interface aren't as slick as some competitors, the underlying tech is proven safe and reliable. The cons, well, it's a battery only box, requires a compatible hybrid inverter and installation by someone experienced with BYD. Aesthetics is utilitarian, simply a stack of battery blocks. Also, BYD support is via the inverter partner network, so ensure your install is reputable. Overall, BYD offers fantastic value and flexibility, but may lack support. Then there's Growot with their APX series home batteries. Before rebates, these systems typically land around $639 per usable kilowatt hour. And that of course depends on your configuration and installer. That means a 10 kilowatt hour Growot APX setup might cost around 6,390 fully installed. Their standout appeal is value and performance. The APX 10 kilowatt hour system comprises of two 5 kilowatt hour modules, allowing for scalability to match varying energy needs. It boasts 90% usable energy capacity and supports high continuous charging and discharging currents, making it a strong contender. It's designed for seamless integration with the Grow MOD XH series three phase inverters. Now the cons, they rely on proprietary integration with GrowWatt inverters, which limits inverter choice and may not suit homes with existing third party solar setups. Secondly, GrowWatt's branding and system monitoring tools are less than polished compared to, let's say, the premium players like Tesla. And their app interface can feel basic or unintuitive at times. Finally, while their batteries are modular and scalable, their power output per stack is limited by the inverter and, of course, the total modules. For example, a 10 kilowatt hour APX system typically delivers a nominal output of five kilowatts with a peak output of seven kilowatts for 60 seconds. Larger configurations like a 20 kilowatt hour setup can provide up to 10 kilowatt nominally and 15 kilowatt peak for 60 seconds. However, these outputs are contingent upon the capabilities of the connected inverter. If the inverter's maximum output is lower than the battery's potential, it becomes the limiting factor in the system's overall performance. But here's a tip, if you're going GrowWatt, for less dollars you can match a Tesla Powell performance by going to the 20 kilowatt hour size in modules and a 10 kilowatt hour inverter for a lot less. Now let's talk about SIG Energy. This is a newer player, but they've made a splash with their all-in-one SIGIN store. It's sleek, loaded with AI power energy management and puts out a very respectable 10 kilowatts. Pricing lands at around $930 to $1,400 per usable kilowatt hour. What you're paying for here is integration and smarts. The app is slick, the backup functionality is seamless, and it feels like a product from the future. So if you want to monitor your battery like you monitor your car, that's the one for you. The cons on the other side, being a newcomer, it lacks long-term track records. It's a bit of an early adopter's choice. Support and service networks are still growing. Also, its integrated nature means you rely on SIG Energy for everything, inverter, battery, charger. While that simplicity is a plus, it's wise to ensure local installers expertise. But the industry buzz is positive. In a 2024 survey of installers' favorite batteries, SIG Energy ranked near the top, tied with established brands. For high-tech enthusiasts, a SIG store can essentially turn your home into a smart energy hub with one purchase. It's an exciting option that signals where the market is headed. More integrations equals more value. FA's IQ batteries come in small module units, just 3.5 kilowatt hour per unit, but you can stack them, of course, and the price is the kicker though, about 1,300 per kilowatt hours, which makes it one of the most expensive per usable kilowatt hour systems. That said, it comes with a 15 year warranty, which is best in class. So if you already have Enphase micro inverters, it's an easy choice. Otherwise, it's a hard sell, unless you value the long-term peace of mind and don't need much power. Which means a single 10 kilowatt hour emphasis is best for low usage homes or evening light use. It can run a fridge, lights, maybe a small AC, but not an entire household of heavy appliances at once. Sonnet Battery, the Evo model, is a premium pick. German made, great build quality, and very safe lithium iron phosphate chemistry. You'll pay around $12,000 for a 10 kilowatt hour system installed, so roughly 1,200 per kilowatt hour. The app and local support are good, but output is lower than some of the 
others. This is great for low to mid usage homes who want reliability over raw power. The cons are pretty straightforward, the high cost. The range I've seen is from $10,000 to $14,000, so price per kilowatt hour is on the steep side. They do have a larger option, some modules stack to 15 kilowatt hours, or you can install multiple units, but costs scale up accordingly. The power output is five kilowatt, which means it's similar to a Tesla Powerwall 2, or the Alpha in what you can run at once. In summary, Sonnet batteries are a premium choice, best suited for those who value German engineering, long cycle life, and perhaps the VPP community aspects in the app, and who don't mind paying extra, but I don't know. Moving on, the SAJ B2 series battery systems is a modular, scalable solution, ideal for residential solar setups at a crazy price. At around $777 per kilowatt hour, if you get the 10 kilowatt our system at once. This drops further when going up. Each 5.1 kilowatt hour unit uses safe and long lasting LIFE PO chemistry and can be expanded to 25.6 kilowatt hours. With an IP65 rating, it supports both indoor and outdoor installation and integrates well with SAG's own hybrid inverters. Features like remote firmware upgrades and compact form factor make it an attractive option for homeowners seeking a flexible and affordable system. However, there are limitations to consider. The system is primarily compatible with SAJ inverters, which reduces flexibility for retrofits. Power output is constrained by the inverter or to about 68% of usable capacity, which may not suit high drain usage. The 10 year warranty also includes a throughput cap that could expire sooner in high usage households. Lastly, while SAJ has been active in Australia since 2019, its local support network is still developing compared to more established brands. So after all that, what is the best? Or at least my recommendation. If you want the best all-arounder for value and scalability, I'd go with SunGrow's SBR series or the Alpha ESS. These are my recommendations for the low to medium use households. Then of course, pick the size that fits. Sig Energy is my techie household pick. You will love the app features and all the AI capabilities and sleek build quality. For a tighter budget where you want more kilowatt hours instead of fancy apps, the Growot APX series is a serious contender for medium to high yield homes. And if you want top tier power, full backup and don't mind paying for it, Tesla's Powerwall 3 is still the king. Sorry. In any case, thanks to the government rebates and fierce competition, home batteries are more accessible than ever for those who own a home, unfortunately. Thanks for watching. If you found this video helpful, then give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more energy insights. Feel free to drop a question or your own battery experience in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.